fried sweet potatoes, or a southern dish. And I just happen to have a southern husband. I have one pound of red garnet sweet potatoes, 42 milligrams of sodium in this whole bowl. Today I'm using avocado oil. I've used canola, olive oil, all kinds of them. I put probably about a tablespoon of oil in here and my pan is between medium and medium high. These are going in here. They don't take very long to cook. I'm going to put a top on it here in a minute. And watch them and I'll tell you how long it's going to take to cook them. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll get a brand new low sodium recipe every Friday. You don't know what I'm going to put out there. I'm just going to put the top on, let them sit here, and I will tell you. I'm going to time it, and I'll tell you when it gets ready. But when you go to your store to get sweet potatoes, this is what the red garnet looks like. It's a dark purple, but there is a Japanese sweet potato that I got by accident last time I made these. The inside is off-white like a russet. The internet said they don't have much sodium, and they're supposed to have a better flavor than the red garnet, but we do not think so. We weren't that crazy about them. As they brown, I'm going to put them on this plate with the paper towel on it. We're just going to check them out. I like to turn them as they cook. Just a little. Turn them over. They're cut probably, oh, I, I think they might be about a third of an inch. That's kind of the way we like them. They go with just about any entree you can imagine. Johnny's going to have some of these sweet potatoes and some leftovers for his dinner. I'm going to take some of them and cube them a little bit. Throw a couple eggs in there and scramble them in with the sweet potatoes. It is a mighty fine breakfast, but I'm having it for dinner. My little plate is an 11 and a half by 9 inches. This is a lot of food for 42 milligrams of sodium. Sometimes I have been known to melt a little bit of unsalted butter and brush it on the top. Not doing it today. We're just going to have them like this. It took less than 10 minutes to cook each batch. Stoves vary in temperature. You might want to try medium. Leave it there for a little while and see what happens. I'm just going to cut some of these up and scramble some eggs in them for my dinner. Makes a wonderful breakfast too. Good food.